Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at a mini accessory. This is the tripod laser cannon. This was originally in an Empire Strikes Back box. This version is the later Return of the Jedi release. And you can see the action figures sold separately. Contents one cannon with energizer, energizer hose and a folding tripod stand made by Kenner. On this side we've got tripods open and closed to set up your attack bases. Energizer pack and hose are removable. And on the back you can see the other uh, mini accessories, the radar laser cannon and the vehicle maintenance energizer. On this side, tripod laser cannon clicks when moved side to side and moves up and down to destroy its targets. On the top, another picture of the toy. And underneath we've got Lucasfilm 1982. So this set uh, actually includes the cardboard insert. <laughs> Be honest I'm not sure if this is an original or it's been redone or what but there you go For what it is that's what one looks like so these are the instructions we've got trunnion times two never always wondered what they were called trunnions cannon body base legs three of power hose power unit Lucasfilm 82 we really do care Cincinnati Ohio on the back, to assemble legs, press leg hinge ball into socket on bottom of cannon base until it snaps into place. Attach cannon body to base by snapping pivot arms into slots on cannon base. Slide trunnions onto pivot arms of cannon body. Insert small end of power hose into power unit and larger end of hose into socket on centre underside of cannon base. Your cannon is fully adjustable for high or low shots and will click around to attack from any angle. The power hose can be stored inside the power unit when not in use. So this is the base for the uh, cannon. It's got these three legs and they've all got ball joints and they just pop into there. And you can fold them all up. You can slide them into these grooves. And when you do that it holds them all nicely in position. This little bit's got the right in. I'm not sure if you can read that but that's got 1982 on there. And that bit has the little clicker inside. Clicker's actually built into the unit, so no problems on losing the clicker. And then we take this bit, and this is the cannon, and these little trunnions. And they come off. And they just fold in there. They've got a little cross shape, so they'll only go in, in the right position. And that bit just slots into there, like so. And that gives us the cannon. It's actually quite nice this, I do like this little set. So this is the Energizer unit, and you can see some nice little mold of detail on there. And this pops open, you've got a little case inside there. And you can store your uh, power hose in there. Just got to coil it up a bit. It's also good for storing weapons in this, I would say. And that folds up like that got two handles on it so you can have a couple of troops carrying it. It actually makes a good um, custom scanning unit for you know when they're going to check out the Falcon. So we've got the hose, we get the cannon back and there's a little hole on the bottom there and that just slots into there. This is all rubber so you do have to watch for uh, deterioration and snapping. And there's a little hole there and we've got the little peg there and that just pops in like that. So the way the handle's shaped on this, it's got a funny angle to it and you can kind of get him to hold it but he doesn't do it very well. If you get his hand gripped in, he's going to stand at a stupid angle. So you just got to sort of pretend with this one unfortunately. Bit of a shame really. So you can have your troops holding the gun. This thing does get in the way a little bit. Got to sort of tuck it in a bit. And the, uh, the hose is quite strong, so it does tend to tip it over, which is a little bit annoying. But it, this is a very, very nice little set. This is by far the best of the accessory sets that we got from uh, Empire Strikes Back. This did get a release with Power of the Force 2, and it was called the E-Web Repeating Cannon or something like that. Yeah, this version's far better. No firing missiles, no messing about. So there you go, that is the tripod laser cannon. This has been Luke, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.